and I seen your name pop up on my phone. I was like, what the fuck? I didn't even know. But I was so high, I was like fixing the shelves. Shelves in the store? <laughs> yeah, you know, like bringing everything up front. I was. <laughs> I remember losing my shit. No. <laughs> 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 You started getting into drugs and like I just said a little bit ago, yeah. smoking weed and you're like, mm, more than that. Yeah. I mean. Now, being in such a young age and getting into drugs, what was that like? How was you uh, affording this habit? Who was you getting it from? You know? By that, by the time I got to Kaiser, I wasn't hanging out with anybody my age. Everybody I was hanging out with was in their 20s already. Wow. So you're hanging out with the older crowd and these guys got money. And you kind of just was, you was like, what, you do know, you, what do you call that? Like, um, <clears throat> just kind of the tag along. Tag along and just doing what they was doing. Yeah. You know, just partying. You know, I just wanted to party. So right. how is it that you actually started doing that, though? Started off school. I mean, you think there's hanging the, hanging around the wrong crowd. Some of the friends I I hung out with in in school, and then you know, and then after that, you just start meeting all these other people. Because well, you are the company you keep. You hang with yeah. that type yeah. people. You're gonna meet all that type. So then people. eventually, I branched off from hanging out from the guys in school to mm. the older crowd. You know, mm. the older crowd had more. <laughs> 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 the high school kids was like i can't get any well yeah. screw you guys I mean, these guys over here that these know guys what. always get like <laughs> i'm good <laughs> like, so i mean you're doing all this stuff and i mean obviously i have kids so i know what it's like the school is probably calling your parents teachers like your kid is doing bad your kid not showing up to school you know what back in the day it they never wasn't did that yeah yeah it it's not like it is now so before like Kaiser, they had this audio recording that would call and be like, oh, your kid was either late or didn't show up. See, they class. do that now. Yeah, they do that now. So I would just be like, oh, I was just late to class. Mm. So like now, right now, the school will call and say your child was <clears throat> uh, absent or late yeah. to such and such period classes, whatever. So when my parents would ask, I'd be like, oh, I was just late to class. But then my report card would come and I'd be like straight F's and I'd, <laughs> you know, I'd be like, well, I don't know what to say. You know? Damn. So now I assume you doesn't like me. <laughs> yeah. You you're on you're I mean, you're on drugs and <clears throat> what 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 kind of drugs are we talking here? Meth. Smoking meth. And you're I mean, you're probably like what, fifteen, sixteen? When I first started? Yeah. Freshman. Oh shit! You're like 14, 15, 15 years old. Fifteen. However old. You Damn. Freshman. That was so, the first time I tried. Yep. You. I mean, you were still living at home. Your parents wasn't seeing these signs. Like, I don't know. You know what? To be honest, I don't know. Well, a lot of times I wasn't at home, right? I mean, but if you stayed out, like, wouldn't they question you? Like, where were you? Like, what even if you never come home? No. Nah, well, I would usually go home, but. Mm. By the time I go home, everybody's sleeping, kind But, I mean, you're smoking meth, right? This shit keeps you up. Oh, yeah. You, you're staying awake. Oh, yeah. So, I mean, what are you doing? You're just staying in your room and being quiet so you don't wake your parents up? Oh, yeah. Just tweaking out, taking shit apart, you know, forever. Rebuilding my lighter. <laughs> <laughs> Rebuilding on lighter. Now, how... <laughs> Rebuilding on lighter. They, they that, well, you know what? They, See, they do that kind of stuff. But you can rebuild... A disposable you can refill it with butane yeah you know right right but the, what's crazy is use fucking with one lighter instead of being like i'm gonna take apart this radio oh, and I rebuild this radio <laughs> you did all that shit too did that. it's crazy you never take apart your mom's car and rebuild that shit no no no, no. no. but that's why a lot of crackheads end up being mechanics or like mechanics turn crackhead or what like they're just tinkering they gotta like keep this busy yeah i mean i don't know what it is I mean, whether they turn a mechanic or not, I mean, I could take it apart, but I couldn't put it back together. <laughs> <laughs> sounds, so, sounds like a true tweaker. Yeah, well, dude, I could take shit apart and put it back together. That was the amazing part. So most uh, most um, people that were on drugs would do anyways. They'll take apart things and they wouldn't. 
they wouldn't ne necessarily actually put things back together. Yeah, but see, I never fucked with my car because you knew that was like that. I need the car. Yeah, like I needed my car. You know? Well, I mean, you you're doing this from a younger age. You you didn't even have a car yet. Yeah. <clears throat> so I mean, you probably you took apart your skateboard, your your bicycle. <laughs> 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 Just kidding. Yeah. Like, but um, so you I mean you're doing this and your parents your parents not catching wind of it. That you're doing, they don't you're doing bad in school. Like they just yeah. think you're being on bad kid. Like you might not doing your school work, like that, but they're not. They don't know you're doing drugs. I don't. You know, to be probably honest. not. Or they was just in denial. Like yeah, eh. I mean, if they knew, they never said anything. But you also, you also have a, a older sister, and your sister lived in the house in this meantime. Or your sister was already moved out. No. Cause I don't, you know what? My sister's four years older than me. Yeah. Oh, she might have been out of the house. Already. She was in college. Oh was, yeah. Uh, Cause she was a freshman. She had just graduated. She went off she to college. So I mean, cause if your sister was around, she probably would have been like, "Oh, something's yeah. up with this kid." Yeah. My sister guarantee would have ratted me out. She would have. Yeah. So when did your parents actually find out that you were doing that? They kicked me out of the house at. 19. So, I mean, you because fucking, you smoking dope for four years before they really found out. Well, I mean, you remember, like, from the time I dropped, from the time I dropped out of high school, there was a period where I worked at Foodland, and I was kind of, you know, I was pretty good. Like, I did. So, you, you, you was, <clears throat> you was able to beat a, I do drugs, but I can hold a job. Yeah. Okay. You was a functional point. tweaker. At that point, like, I was, I was okay you know i wasn't uh -huh. so there was a span where it was i was okay you know like i wasn't you was maintaining some kind of yeah. normalcy yeah and then when that went out the window oh god how, do, how does this how does this work like you <clears throat> you have a job you're getting a paycheck but i'm, I'm assuming this paycheck is gone once you cash it because you're probably like buying up uh, well, so this other guy I knew, um, he, he worked, he also worked, um, me and him used to run around together. So we both had a job. So, I mean, it's not like we blew our entire paycheck on it. Yes. It's kind of normal, but did drugs. Yeah. And like, yeah. you know, you'd sell here and there. So you kind of was, you was also kind of, um, su not supplying yourself, uh, but you was like, um, you was, what do you call that? Uh, feeding my own habit. Yeah, 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 yeah. Supporting yeah. my own habit. Right. Support. There you go. That's the word I'm looking for. You're supporting yeah. your own habit. habit. Is basically what it was. But then, you know, once that job went down the, down the drain, then everything Wait. So you went like really south after that. What? So what did you get fired from this job? You quit the job. I quit, and then I got kicked out. Mm -hmm. When I was at Alamada Beach Park for about a year. Oh, wow. So <clears throat> I assume this is your your parents found out that you was doing. Drugs. Oh yeah, that's why they kicked me out. Right. So yeah. they kicked you out. Now, this is like four years later when you already started, right? Yeah. They found out. They kicked you out. You, you lost your job. Yeah. So you're like, fuck it all. Yeah. You're like, fuck it. We, we're going off the deep end now. Yeah. And so not you're, you're probably about... 20. 19, 20 years old. I was 19. So I stayed at, at the beach park for about a year. Damn. And then I, and then I got clean. So, so I spent my 21st birthday in sobriety. That, well, that's a good thing, but I didn't have a legal drink until I was 29. What is, what is it? Wow. <clears throat> you're homeless. You're young. You, you, well, how, how are you getting through the day? What is the day consist of kids? So just, I want you to go back and think of a day in your life at that time. What you wake up, what's happening? I'm smoking. <laughs> that, Wait. I always. So without a job and without like. Now you're just ripping everything you can. 
okay. You know, you're going to Alamani, you're stealing whatever, and then you're going to go and sell it. So now you're far off. You're not like a normal slash no. doing drugs. You're like, I'm fucking full blown. Yeah. I'm homeless. I'm a druggie. You know, but I, it, it was funny because before that, I still had my car. So when I got kicked out, I still had my car, right? Mm-hmm. The car stayed at your parents' house? No. The car came with me. So you was living at this beach park with the car? Um, initially, no. So initially, the older group I was hanging out with, they would go to like their friend's place and stay. So I would just go and tag along, right? Mm-hmm. Right. But I was always able to tag along because I was the only one with the car. Ah. Oh. But I was driving everybody around, you know. But I mean, you driving around with an illegal car, right? It wasn't, e- yeah, well. It Not was. at first because it was still up to date and then yeah. it expired yeah, later. Yeah, but, but nobody, you mean, like, who cared? So, I mean, you wake up, yeah, no. right, going back to your day, because I think we kind of went off there. You wake up, you have a, you, you have your own little stash already, right? You yeah. have your little product. You smoke, you get high. What are you doing from there? Because it's not like you got to go off doing job. It's not like you're not going to go clean the lawn at the <laughs> beach park. <right? laughs> no, no. You're not going to go sunbathe on the beach. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> so what do you do? I mean, at that point, it's all about chasing it, right? So it's, Okay. Because you know you only have so much product. Yeah. So but you, so you you wake up in the morning, you smoke. Is that everything you have? Sometimes. Okay. So say it is say it is everything you had. Now you're like, Same. how long is this high going to last? I mean, it lasts kind of long, but. You're already looking for the next one. Yeah. Like, Cause you know it's gonna, you know you're looking for it. You know it's gonna, you're gonna come down. But you like get your product before you come down. Oh yeah. So yes. I'm, first thing I'm, I'm already thinking, you know, like. Oh, I'm gonna get my next hit. Yeah. So then, you know, you, you start asking around. Oh, what are you guys looking for? You know, maybe I can go get it. You know. Mm. Wait. What do you mean? Who are you talking? Who are you? Who are you talking to? Whoever I'm getting it from. Right. I'm like. Oh. What are okay. You so so, backtrack a little bit. Sorry. I just trying to. Visualize this whole day in my head. You wake up, you smoke. It's all I have. Oh, I gotta go chase. I gotta go do something to get my next. You jump in your car. You you have the car. Okay, just say you have the well, car. By the time I was at Alamona Beach Park, I didn't have the car. Okay, okay. So you don't have a car. Yeah, I didn't have the car. Right? What is your What is your plan? What is your pl- You wake up, you smoke. The, oh, I gotta get my next. What is your plan? What are you doing? So then I'm going to whoever I'm getting from. Now you walking. Yeah. Okay. Right? So I'm going to wherever it is that I'm going to get it from. And I'm asking, like, what do you, you know, what do you need? Like, what are you looking for? Because I ain't got cash, right? Oh, because you're trying to barter now. Yeah. Because you, yeah, you, you don't have money. You don't have a oh, job. I need a stereo. You know what I mean? It's like, all right, let's go see if I can go find one. You know? And I ain't, I ain't talking like, I'm going to go buy you one. Yeah, you're going to go rip it off. Yeah. So, yeah, now walk us through the process. Was he, the guy needs stereo. Hypothetically, he needs a stereo, car stereo. Okay. So he'll break into a car. Yeah, I know, but I, I like hear the process. Like, what's going through your head? Because I think I, what I want is a lot of people to understand this and visualize this and just, like living the life of that person. I mean, at that point, now you're just looking for a car that's got a easy to take out deck. One I can just rip out fast. Right, because you don't want right? something that's like, ooh, that could be a little bit hard to get out. See, and then like back in the day too, like, it's not like it is now. You know, everybody's got a damn camera out now. Yeah. Yeah. You know? That's true. Even if you're just walking down the sidewalk, somebody's yeah. got cameras on the side of their apartment, the house, whatever. Yeah. He's going to see you. And the old, I don't know if I should say this, but. The old Toyotas, okay. like the old Corollas, mm-hmm. yeah, they're trash. Like the '70s Corollas, like the when they put no, the no. hot rod them. Like the '90s. Like the yeah, like the early '90s. Well, like our grandmas was driving them. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. If you had the key, uh huh, any key, if you stuck it in the door and just wiggled it, it'll unlock it. What do you mean? Any 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 Corolla, any Toyota key, or any yeah, any Toyota key? Any? Well, I shouldn't say any Toyota key. But any key that was from that year, right? So if, let's just say, she had a, let's just say she had a ninety one Corolla. Yeah. Okay. 
and I took the key, just the key, nothing else. Right. And I went to another Corolla that was the same. You had opened the car with it? With that same key. That. <laughs> Maybe we shouldn't be saying this, but hey, that's um useful information for all the people that have one of those that cars. Old Garge thing. car. Right. You could start the car with that key, too. What? What? You could just jiggle that thing and it would start. The ignition would work. Yeah. With yeah. using another Corolla. it's all worn out, right? So it's dull. Yeah, 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 yeah. And it'll... Those but even in the inside, like, you know, it's like tumbler system yeah. locks. So they're just, once you start wearing them out. That didn't matter. That's crazy that, you know, like we look at Toyota so reliable and such a great manufacturer, but they was doing crappy yeah. door locks and ignition yeah, like, I'm not locks. Saying it's a crappy car. No, no, no. But yeah. Oh, yeah. who wasn't, they wasn't focusing on Security, locking right. the car. And I guess maybe in Japan, they're, Nobody steals cars or something. I don't know. Like it was so easy. So if that car had a deck, that's the first one I'm taking. Because you could get in that car. And I'm, what, you had a stash of keys? No, well, see, I had an old Corolla. So you had a key? Yeah. Right. That's what I mean. You had a key. Even though I didn't have the car, I kept the key. (laughs) (laughs) You think this happens on S10s? Because I still have my old S10 key. (laughs) No, no, no. I'm I'm kidding. I'm kidding, guys. Only one way to find out. The (laughs) way. Criminal element coming up. You know, we look suspects though. Yeah, yeah. So, no, no. No one, no one. So, um, okay, we still, listen, we're going through yeah, this day, right? Then you get into this car, you get in. I take it and then you go back to there. No, what is this thing worth? It's just worth like one pop. You just, boop, you unpop, that's it. Off of the stereo. Yeah, I mean, he'll give You only me need whatever. the one hit. Yeah. I mean, well, it's not one hit, but I mean, he'll give me whatever he wanted to give me for it, right? Oh. And then, from there, you either get high or... Would that be valued-wise? Like, money-wise, would that be equal value? Because well, you're going would... after one stock stereo or an aftermarket stereo? I am not going to go after one stock stereo. No, I know, but, you know... I mean, I would get as much as I could. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> but, but at that point... You would empty the loose change in the ashtray <laughs> and everything. Right, right. <laughs> <laughs> Let me take this seat covers. <laughs> <laughs> I could go to the fucking pawn shop with this. <laughs> so you see, you you get you get your next high, and then what are you doing in the meantime? You're just cruising around. Like, Same thing. I don't know. Like what is uh, twenty four hours? What is it? What is? I'm sorry to say a- this, but you're on crackhead. So what is a crackhead doing? <laughs> 24 hours. It's the same thing. It's just repeat. So, you, I mean, you, you get your product from the guy. You got the stereo for. I go and smoke, and then I go look again. So, you know, you, you don't even need to wait for come down. No. Till you smoke. You smoke them already. Oh, yeah. That, I'm, what? See, the whole thing. I shouldn't say the whole thing. But part of it was seeing the cloud. Mm. Mm. So, it's like, like fucking vaping big cloud you just... yeah but it's you that get, is weird you know it's you had a visual uh stimulation with yeah. doing drugs also it wasn't just the high it was like a visual stimulation yeah. like oh check that out but you had alamana beach park on this bench like like blowing on cloud or well, are you hiding no yeah i mean of course. are you in the bathroom you ever i mean we used to get high over there too but i mean for the most part like you're trying to find like a family bathroom you know, yeah, like a public family bathroom. Yeah, because then no one else is in there. It's just you. Mm. And well, you're a real tweaker. <laughs> oh yeah, Kevin was off on a you beat then. You smoke and then you leave. You know, and then, what you just you don't smoke where you reside. Uh, kind of, you don't like get caught where you residing, right? Yeah, but I mean, to be honest, I was so far gone. I used to do it anyway. You was that far, you kind of didn't care. Yeah. <clears throat> okay, so you do this for, I mean, this thing keeps you up, right? So you, you're you not even thinking about sleeping. Like, you're not like, oh, man, it's getting late. I got to go back to my bench. <laughs> Fuck, I don't want to sleep. Because <laughs> what? Like, the feeling of being high is like you're just chasing that. Yeah, like, I don't want to sleep. So it's I like think. a legit feeling. To, you're like, I just want to stay high. So a question I do have. Um. I'm pretty sure you would stay up for like days at a time. Did you ever ha- actually have like hallucinations? I 
the only reason why I asked is because like when my dad used to do it and he used to stay up for long periods of time like there was just one time he was literally fighting with somebody in the air and it, okay. it scared the well, hell out of me. I, I think that's a, um, you don't even have, you don't have to do drugs for that. Like if you legit stay up, like just a normal yeah. person just stays up for days on end, you're well, going to start hallucinating. I'm pretty sure that's the reason why they do end up actually hallucinating because he's right, right, up for stay days up on long. I yeah. should have done that. The well, brain not working anymore. Yeah. yeah. I mean, I never, like we were staying in, a, in an abandoned house. Mm hmm and i think the that was the longest i ever stayed up was two weeks oh what the hell? and i was i was fried like i was paranoid like i thought it was nighttime and i'm looking out like you know the the house is abandoned right so the windows are boarded but you can see through the cracks and i'm thinking like the shadows of the trees are like people <laughs> because, <laughs> somebody's, well, somebody's like, watching right that's so know? funny you know i um <clears throat> my cousin kind of went on that and, route to but so i went to um a meeting with them one time me him and my grandma and one of these these guys was telling his story and he was all like i do hide under the house and i swear the helicopters are flying above <laughs> yeah. like, the helicopters are flying above and, and he's like a like, band that's on or something yeah yeah he's like <laughs> there was no helicopters there was like shadows of trees like waving on the ground but he's like hiding under the house thinking yep. the helicopters is above looking for him Dude. so you do that kind of paranoid stuff yeah it's, it it just makes you paranoid you know you it, is it is it just just the drug itself makes you paranoid or is it like you paranoid because you know you're doing something illegal both i think it's both the two of them put together just yeah. just puts you off the rail not only that but yeah. like you're stealing you're you know breaking into cars and stuff and you're doing all these criminal activities that see, would like, make you paranoid. Everyone thinks like, oh, was stealing cars, whatever. Like, I wasn't. You just bring it into. I'm not car. a mechanic, right? So I'm not stealing the whole car. So, like once, once that key was gone, <laughs> it was just bust the window and take what I want. Oh my god! You know. And, so you went even farther off the deep end, right? You know, <clears throat> like you go to Sears. Well, back then Sears. Was, yeah. Was there, right? Mm -hmm. And you just grab a center punch. You right. just steal a center punch from Sears, and then it's just. Use the center punch. Break the window. Break the window. Oh my gosh! Why did you just get a slim jim? Oh, uh, the center punch That's, easier, faster. Yeah. Oh, like, why you trying to hang around slim jim? But at least less of a mess. <laughs> he don't care. It's not his mess. I mean, yeah, his, like, he think, caused the mess, but it's not his mess to clean up. Yeah. Like you think I'm gonna clean up the mess? I ain't cleaning that up. Oh, yes. I see. That's why. So I mean, not. <laughs> why the spark plug doesn't work as good as everybody thinks it does because it's slower. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> he had a punch. Yeah, the punch Gone. is fast. And now it's crazy because they make all these actual window punches, like safety devices, not realizing that these these criminals are getting these safety devices and like, there goes your window. I don't know if they're doing it so much now. I mean, I'm, I, maybe not, but what I'm saying is it just, yeah. the safety devices is creating tools for criminals. Yeah, but it, it's weird because now I hear everybody's stealing cats. Yeah. We were just talking about this with Stacy, the, the catalytic converters. We never did that. Right? Nobody ever thought about stealing a catalytic yeah. converter. Yeah, nobody... We didn't know that there was materials in it there. that was yeah. valuable. But we, I mean, you think about like the price of the materials, whatever's in there, palladium, what, what, you know, shit like that. What the hell did we know about that? Yeah. Like, we didn't know anything about the, the thing that we was like gold and actual cash. Yep. We didn't worry about any other anything metals. Else. You know? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, we were just talking about this uh, last week with Stacy and them. and A lot has changed. A lot yeah, and dude, changed. these 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 criminals is brave. They don't, man, they don't care. They they cutting out catalytic converters right right in front of you. Cole was telling a story, or well, he mentioned the story about the one in the Big Island where the, <clears throat> I guess, tourists or some pulled up in valet and the, the criminals followed right behind them went to valet the car they jumped out caught it jumped it back in the car gone 30 seconds gone Jeez. in 30 gone. seconds it's crazy right you had the video at zippy's off over here yeah 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 a long time ago <laughs> but now they, they pop in all these people like the the there was just um i don't know if it was like hawaii news now or what but the the girl that got caught or something no not caught but she got caught on video yeah see 
when I was doing stupid stuff, never have. Nobody was stealing that. You're stealing car stereos. Yeah, but never have cameras all over the place. That too. Not everybody had a phone with a camera. Yeah. And the thing is, it's just stupid to like not not use some kind of masking, you know, like let me, let me put these shades on or let me wear this hat. Like, no, I'm talking about now. Yeah. Like they're catching people's face in the camera and you're like, we don't, yeah. when Saul's all in their hand, you're like, this dumb, you're like, like, you know what are you thinking yeah what are you you never <laughs> maybe didn't that's thing they're not thinking right because i mean even when you was on now because you, you you know what it's like to be on you were still aware like people gonna see me yeah. i could get caught yeah that's true but it's what's the chance of them seeing you you know what i mean like right because he's like you said no more cameras yeah like I don't know if I should be saying this, but like, we used to hit people's garages. Mm -hmm. Well, no, I mean, it's okay for you to, like I, like I was saying, like, you can talk about these things, just not but specific. Like, not everybody addresses. had a ring camera. You mean, they, they didn't oh, never that was, existed. That wasn't, yeah, nobody. You know what I mean? None of that was. The internet never even exist. Right. Yeah. So like, <laughs> you know, and then I laugh because I never have all these tattoos, right? So you was unidentifiable. So, right. And much. now everybody can get spotted from their tattoos. Yeah. yeah. You but know, a guy came when 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 is that a fishing pole tattoo on his finger? Yeah, you know what I mean? Like Yeah. So even more so it's like, dude, why are you yeah. even bothering doing it? Like at least Aren't cover up. At least yeah. like yeah, like yeah. be smart about being on criminal. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it sounds stupid, but you know what well, I mean? Yeah. Right? I mean like if I was in criminal and I could still because I mean, I don't know because I've never done these type of things, right? And even when you high and stuff, you 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 normal like you, I'm not not normal in the sense of you know but you can think normally right you know yeah. you're aware yeah like you're not you're like I'm not gonna go out there and go do this and eat, like you yeah know. Like, so you could think in your right state of mind be like I, I should m cover up and disguise myself yeah you know should do stuff do something you know what I mean like because if you was that person in these days you would right you would be like I'm gonna disguise myself oh yeah yeah, well, a hundred percent. Exactly. You know what I mean like nobody's trying to go to jail or get arrested. Like yeah. I, I don't nobody wants that. I don't know. That's a, that's, a, that's such a weird nowadays that, that's such know. a weird um thing too because you know me and Cole was just talking about this about criminals and they just get a slap on the wrist and they're not afraid to go back to jail and a lot of them are are comfortable in jail that's what they know you know what i mean i mean i i get it but still I, nobody wants to be in jail i guess i mean do you want to be really told when to wake up when you can shower when you, you know what I mean when you can do whatever like i enjoy my freedom yeah you yeah. mean like i'm not working right now like dude i sleep to whatever <laughs> <laughs> like, so I said that's how you gain the weight. No, oh, yeah. tell you. <laughs> how are you, Grandpa? So, oh, uh, Auntie, Auntie, calm down. Calm down. No. Yourself. <laughs> you, um, this this goes on for uh, some years, right? And I I know um, how how you got saved. I guess I want to say want to say I got saved because one one of your your best friend slash one of my friends through you, and I know. She's a great person. Oh yeah, and um, she didn't even have to do all this type of deals, but I I think it takes, um, you know, somebody good like that a lot of the time to save somebody because if you're just an enabler, then you you just pushing that person back into the deep end versus oh, yeah. being like throwing a lifesaver in, dragging them out of the pool, out the deep end, and we're gonna fix you. See, she saved me. Like she's. How do I say it? She supported me every which way possible. And she always believed in me. Because um, even when you was high, you was doing this, she was still coming to see you. Oh, yeah. She was bringing you remember, clothes, food, letting you take a shower at her house, stuff like this, right? I remember I was at I was at the beach park. And at the time, 
Well, at the time it was her boyfriend, but now it's her ex. But they pick me up, then feed me, and then drop me back off. Like her, yeah. Like her, her and a few of her friends. Like they, they were always there. Like no matter what, you know. So what actually made you decide to actually change that and stop it? The first time. Um, I think I was just, I was done. I was at the end of my road. I had nothing. I didn't have it in me to keep going the direction I was going. This, this is, uh, years already or no, how well, I was in my, I was 20. But I mean, you started this yeah lifestyle you used doing drugs from like 14 15 years old yeah now you're 20 you're living at the beach park um you know this five years already went by yeah. now how much longer was it till you finally said I'm, I'm done i was in my i was 20 already i was 20. so let's say five years yeah so then i ended up calling my sister and asking her oh can you pick me up and then the next day, um, they took me rehab, or my mom, my parents. Your sister was away at college. Now she's back. Yeah, she was back already. So I mean, the whole time she was in college, this is all happening. Yeah. Well, I mean, it was good that you're 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 okay. So we're talking about Jen. I, I mean, she was in touch with your parents. How did your you your, you called your parents? Yeah, I well, I called my sister. Right, 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 you called your sister. Yeah. She called your parents. Yeah. Okay, so continue your story. And then she took me to my parents. The next day, they took me rehab. I remember, if I remember correctly, they couldn't take me that same day. So I had to go back. Back? Uh, back home. Yeah, back to my parents' house. Okay, so at least you went off to your parents' house. Yeah, but then I think was the day was the next day that they were going to take me. Mm -hmm. so so being dumb left my parents house go get high go back to my parents house and then they they took me rehab the next day <laughs> i mean you smoking this you smoke meth so you went to rehab high yeah <laughs> well, well most people do yeah, yeah. Uh, right 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 but i did like what was it like you just let me get one more yeah you know it was that one last time you know so, so that, that was your first attempt of getting sober? Yep. And then, so I went through two the first time. Okay. Because I got arrested while I was out there, but I got released pending investigation. Mm -hmm. Right? So then, while I was in rehab, my pending investigation came up. Got it. And they wanted to charge me. What'd you get what did you, support? yeah. Um... Intent to distribute paraphernalia. I forget. There, there was a whole bunch. So you did get busted in this five years. Yeah, yeah. What can but, uh, you do? You recall what happened in one of these incidents, like when I got arrested? Yeah, like what, oh. do you remember one of these? <laughs> that was, tell us a story about you getting arrested. In this one, how okay, you got so, these? Oh, how did I do it without? Okay, so we're not gonna say anybody's name. No, no, no. So yeah, then right. you can just con yeah. like say like I was hanging out with this yeah, one guy. So I was hanging out with this couple and we're in the store, right? And Brada was big. Okay. You're the guy you hanging out with is yeah. big guy. Like he was big. Okay. Fat big or like big like, muscle guy? Yeah. Oh. Right. So like I'm talking like pick up the whole rack <laughs> of jeans. Like what? The Whoa. whole rack of jeans. You guys is in a, in a, like a department store. Yeah, and just dart out the door with the entire rack. Oh, I've seen that happen. Right. <laughs> I mean, because Brada, Brada was big. Well, yeah, I mean, so, I've seen but, that happen before. Where, like, I used to work at Carter's, and um, yeah, they pulled up right in front of the store, came came out into the store, grabbed whatever was on the first rack. The whole thing, thing. and they d just bolted out. Yeah. Yeah. But um, the girlfriend got got nabbed. 
Oh, from the like the yeah. security slash yeah. workers. For, but it's private security, right? The department stores. Yeah. Department store has right. Yeah. So. What they call? I was them? so high. Loss prevention. Yeah, yeah, but I was so high out of my mind. I didn't even know they they left. What they left? Like in got busted left. Like I didn't even know they ran out. Oh wait, they they got away. No, no, no. So. So he grabs it, runs out. I didn't even know, but I was so high. I was like fixing the shelves. <laughs> <laughs> Like, wait, wait, wait. The shelves in the shelves. store? Yeah, you know, like, bring everything up front and... What? Right? <laughs> I mean, that's what speakers do. They do. Yeah, like, like, they dude, do organize wait, wait, wait. I was... <laughs> I remember losing my shit. Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> no, I what probably... The fuck? No. What speakers do that? They organize wait. things. <laughs> Wait, wait, wait. I gotta get this. I gotta okay, get this okay. out. I gotta get Fair this out. Wait, dude. So I'll start from the beginning. So we what? walked in, and I knew we were there to get whatever, whatever it was, right? Right. But I didn't know what what they wanted to get. Okay. So I was like, I was thinking, okay, just go do your thing, you know, like whatever. I'm just gonna go walk around, and they're like, oh, just look out, and I was like, oh. you were supposed to be the lookout. Yeah, but I was, I was so high, I was fixing shelves, right? <laughs> Oh and, my god, <laughs> dude! And and the next thing I what know, I, you. <laughs> I hear this girl scream my name, and I turn around looking. She's like, "Run!" And I was like, "Oh, bro!" So I turned around, and the guy was standing right in front of me. He oh grabbed me. Right oh, I was like, they knew you was on lookout. How? What the hell? I don't even think they knew. Like, if she, I think if she didn't say my name. Yeah. I don't think they would have known. They would have just been like, this chronic is just fixing the damn shit. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. This is fucking crazy, bro. I would have given you a job, honestly. <laughs> I was trying to get out. Wait. Such a good worker. They, <laughs> you. They, you guys went in, in, crimin in as criminals and your ass decided, I'm a fucking worker now. <laughs> no. What? <laughs> Hey, Red, no, you fucking but, started cleaning. He <laughs> was, was folding clothes and shit. No, I was just like. He was, fixing he was putting he was front in the shelf. He was front you know. facing everything. <laughs> what do you what so. fixing it? What was wrong with he was probably putting things away too? <laughs> like, this is disorganized. <laughs> That's the funniest <laughs> shit I ever heard from a fucking crackhead. <laughs> he but, was he was well, in I there. Mean, it's, not oh, that far off. <laughs> it's not that far off, honestly. Like because um chronics do tend to get like really O C D type when they're high. You you totally lost what what was happening. In other words, <laughs> I, the hard part was when he grabbed me. I guess private security. I uh -huh. guess they're allowed to search. Yes. Yeah. I had all the shit on me. Oh, you had all the. Oh. Yeah. I had the pipe. I you had, couldn't fight this dude off. I still had the drugs. I still had everything on me. Damn. You know. So I mean, oh, you are... so so who who goes down? You and this female, I guess, right? Because they well, grabbed her. I don't know what happened to her, but I mean, they, she got busted though. They 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 got her. The cops came, got her. Because well, they put us in separate rooms. Yeah, I mean, she was still in. She was detained. Yeah. she was yeah. detained. Where's the guy? The guy got away. Yeah, because I mean, that's a big brother. You know I mean? They wasn't like, gonna tackle him. They didn't try tackle. From what I heard, they tried tackling him. And He's shaking he him just up. Just bulldoze him over. <laughs> He's flinging them like, off like, yeah, like, like mosquitoes. Bruh. Wow. I, so I knew he was going to get away, you know. Now, you, How did she so you guys get busted. You guys, I'm guessing there was more than one. So oh. they couldn't grab him, but I don't think he could save her because he's carrying everything too. Right. right. But if he's the one that's actually the one that is seen on camera and everything, like they see him actually grab it the product he might have got busted for something else eventually eventually but i mean if you live in that lifestyle eventually you can go down right right but like to be if honest he had nothing on her how is it she's the one that got nabbed because she was running with him right oh yes yeah, she was an accomplice so she might have she might have shook that charge yeah i mean to be honest i never saw them after that you you, you normally hung out with them or was it like you just ended up with them I like, you're just point. hanging out, like, oh, yeah. let's just hang out. Yeah, like, we can smoke together or whatever that day. And we go chill. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And be like, hey, like yeah, that. let's just go rob Sears. You <laughs> ever, like, you think... <laughs> you think you ever... <laughs> <laughs> Let me go organize their shelves. 
<laughs> Bought a house in Queens over there. <laughs> but, like, go hit Sears. We're trying to get our next. Yeah, yeah, let's go. I'm going to go there and clean their shelves. <laughs> he thought yeah, you meant you was going to clean the shelf <laughs> off, not actually clean the shelf. <laughs> I mean, I'm pretty sure it's not the store that you guys went to, but just as a department store, Sears is like one of those. That- it, it was. <laughs> it was. <laughs> good, good guess, Adrian. <laughs> well, I mean, that yeah, it was an easy place to get. Alamana. Porridge. <laughs> Alamana. Yeah, Alamana is easy breezy. It's right yeah. there. The doors is right there. Like, yeah. Yeah. And but I they think- were waiting in the parking lot. Oh, for real. Oh, yeah. You run out there, boom, you're gone. They, they, well, yeah, because you can, cannot actually technically um, detain you until you actually walk out the store. You have to be like so much feet out the store. He was still in the store cleaning the shelf. Yeah. Besides, besides <laughs> I didn't him, even leave the store. Besides him. Nah, back because, then, though, you got to think that you got to think this is in, I mean, this is early 2000s. Yeah. Yeah, but even with that, like any theft, it has to follow these certain protocols. And Not everywhere. Called it that. Not everywhere. I remember when when I was heavy into um, shoplifting, we we specifically not from experience, but I mean experience. I had shoplifting experience, but I'm saying from that store um, was Liberty House, oh. Macy's now, right? Mm-hmm. Liberty House could approach, detain, et cetera, et cetera, within the store. Yeah, if they saw you walking towards the door if you pass no 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 if they they if they spotted you on camera or whatever or the floor walker spotted you like stuffing shit in your pockets or your backpack whatever what i'm saying is if they knew you was doing it they could detain you within the store they didn't you didn't have to go out the store yeah but walmart was a different story walmart you had to go out the store before they could approach detain right because the protocol goes for do any of this yeah don't do any of this i mean it he doesn't oh. have to. He's had a good life. Yeah. <laughs> as much as he might not yeah. think he did. I had, I had, growing you had up, a good life too. I had it good. So yeah, your parents as well off. He just, it, I mean, don't don't think that doesn't, he doesn't have a reason to. He yeah. has a career going already. He's, just stay good. Uh, Xavier has always been the kid that if he gets in trouble one time, he's not gonna do it. Yeah, it is naughty moments, but yeah. like most times he won't do it again. As long as, long as you scold him and. He always feels like that, though. Hey, so where were we? We, you, um, this is some good shit, man. <laughs> fuck, this episode's good. Um, <laughs> fuck it, I can't believe you was in there, like. But. <laughs> fuck it, looking like you were a worker, like but what's up, bro? Like maybe, what's going on? In like, reality, if she didn't mention his name or I, anything, I think I, I don't think they would have bothered. Could've, fuck that, would have been like Kevin, run, for what? <laughs> I would not even acknowledge it. I'd be like, what? Be, uh, cleaning the shelf <laughs> over here. Talking. <laughs> if once I heard run, I'd be like, huh? Oh, what am I running for? My, my name's Kevin too. Who the fuck is she talking to? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I don't even hey, know you. <laughs> too high to even think about that. Oh. <laughs> That's just, so you is is like being high like that. You, you, some of your um your instincts and whatnot is a bit hampered, right? Yeah, I mean. It's kind of like getting drunk. You're like, I could have made a better decision. Oh, well, you know, my whole life I could have made a better decision. Well, I mean, you know. Right. Yeah. But so you, you got know. arrested and caught based off of that girl mentioning your name. But you got arrested for possession of paraphernalia. Paraphernalia plus. The know, drugs itself. Yeah, but because the drugs was all in separated, right? Oh, yeah, with the intent to sell. Intent yeah, to sell. Yeah, all that kind of shit. So, anytime that yeah. you actually get searched, um, it has to be with within reasonable cause. Well, see, you would think for a cop, right? Well, but, even for loss prevention, though, because if you are an accomplice, say to the well, person see, who did steal, so they don't know if I stole anything. Either. Yeah, so they had to ask you whether you. They didn't even ask. They straight searched. They straight. <laughs> they didn't even ask. They were just like, oh. Oh my gosh. You know, and they're like, oh, what is this? And I'm like, nothing. Don't pull it out. You know, and he pulls it out and it's my pipe. And I'm like, fuck. I'm fucked. Yeah, but they don't technically need to actually tell the cops that. They don't technically, but it's not like they're not going to say. You know what I mean? Could have just let you go once they found out that you had nothing. You really think they was going to do that? No. Dude, after one of their one of their people got bulldozed over he was not about to let anybody go 
Oh, he was mad mad at you. I'm, I didn't even do anything. If anything, I was fixing the I was helping watch. them out. Yeah, like, <laughs> Sweet, so what I should have gave you some compensation. Yeah, they should have paid me. <laughs> I would have gave you a job. <laughs> well, I mean, but, like, there's a lot of, and I hate to say this, but there's a lot of security and these department stores that they're kind of dicks. I'm not going to lie. Being, being that I used to be a security guard and I used to have to go to these incidents like, with Macy's and stuff, some of them were, some of them were just egotistic. Well, I mean, you can't blame them. You mean they're, they're doing their with, job and they're dealing with dickheads all day. Oh yeah, sure, they yeah. are. But like if I had to deal with myself all day, like stop me from doing shit, like be I would have been mad all day too. You know what's funny though? I, but, I, I always wonder like if I could be one of those people because I come from a shoplifting fucking teenage time, right? I was like, man, I could, I can spot them all. Yeah, but the thing is, do you really want to do that? No. You mean, because then it's like, I'd, I'd probably get fired because I'm too hot tempered. Yeah. Like once this person try to, I'll be like, <laughs> it would depend. Oh, <laughs> judo <laughs> tossed, fucking arm bar, bang, I'll break somebody's arm off. You I know, mean, all these shoplifting incidents that I went to, it would all depend on like how that person acted. Like if they actually like, didn't give a damn and you can't touch me and blah blah. blah like, well, you can give them attitude back. Yeah, kind of I, I got you. natural, but. <laughs> So you um, <clears throat> but anyways, you we we I think we even jump yeah but backwards or for I don't know what we jump <laughs> forward or backwards but you uh, going back to getting sober uh, Jen you know was always around and helping you and then you called your sister you finally called your sister to it was crazy people as you, you know you guys don't know Jen but Jen's a she's a social worker actually she was a social worker at this time too um. Or was, she was either already working or she was in school. Either way, she was that type of person. Yeah. yeah, she's a really good person, very helpful, just always wants to see the best for everybody. So it's crazy that she, um, you know, she just st stuck it out. Like, oh my God, Kevin's driving me crazy, but yeah, stuck I, it out. I probably, because, yeah, I, I'm surprised she, she put up with me. Yeah, I can see why you... Is, you, you guys, you guys don't know, but Kevin made Jen his best man at his yeah. wedding. <laughs> and then I was her, her maid of honor. Yeah, <laughs> you get a picture of you in a dress. <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> <laughs> the crowd might want to see it. Yeah, like, like she's always been there. Like, no, I remember one time she called me up. And she's like, I was, I was gonna meet. I think I was gonna meet her at Omana, and she was with her friends. Um, and I met those friends, like, I knew who they were, you know, but I wasn't, like... Close with them, right? Yeah. But they all left her. They hated you, that's why. I don't know. Well, she said that, oh, well, when they found out that you were coming, they all left. And yeah. I go, what do you mean they all left? She's like, yeah, you scared them all away. I go, I didn't even do anything to them. Well, you was known as the, you the junkie, like, you know, can't yeah. blame yeah. you. Know, I mean, honestly, can you blame them? <laughs> no, right? Yeah. So then she, when I showed up, I was like, oh, I thought you were with your friends. And she goes, they all left me here waiting for you by myself. Damn. Oh, well, that's, yeah, that's okay. kind of dead. You know, you know that's how mean? good she is, though. That's Jen but, is such a nice yeah, person. Like, you know, and, friends being and knowing Jen, she probably told him, don't be scared of him. I push him down the stairs, you know, <laughs> something. She, yeah, Jen. I mean, you probably was like, what, maybe buck five by then? But see, that's the thing is. I yeah, but like, Jen is like fucking all of four foot ten. <laughs> yeah. I, four, nah, she's four, probably like five yeah, foot, maybe. He's, he's not that tall either. Dude, I was like. No, but Jen's small. I was like a hundred pounds dripping wet. Damn, yeah. you was. So she could just push you over and he yeah. could have broke. What is the thing? Like, she. If if you was thinking like if it was like a couple or like she had him by the balls like Kevin wouldn't dare mess with her. No, yeah. if she said it, he's like okay. And you gotta think, short girls are the worst. But see, Jen was never. <laughs> she's not. She's not like Jen. That. No, I meant like temp. Like when it comes to like temper wise, I've noticed. Nope, she's not even like that either. Oh. Really? Oh, nope. nothing like that. You never. Oh, you never met Jen, yeah? No. Well, you have to. Wait. Yeah, no. no, I don't think so. But not even over here. Wait, was she? At, nah, she was at your wedding, right? 
Yeah. 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 Then I met her. Yeah. She. Yeah. She was my uh, best, best man. man. Yeah. Best yeah. woman. Whatever you I want. Met her. Cause we went to the wedding. Yeah. Yeah, but you never really got to like hang out with no, her or whatever. No, but no. <clears throat> that's the best person in the world. Yeah. Like by far. You guys never had a relationship. No. That would that would have ruined the friendship. I think. True. Yeah, they was best off just friends and Jeez. you know what's crazy is that that girl got messed over like by bad people taking advantage of you know. Oh, the, you know what I'm talking about. Well, and actually, that's how I met her. Yeah, I know. By her ex. Yeah, yeah we so me and him went to school together, mm-hmm. and me and him used to get high together. Me and, oh. me and him used to run around together, but it's so weird because. Sober, me and him don't get along. Right. Duh. No, well, you guys did for a little bit. Remember when he when he, he first did, came he back? The hell out of me. When we all hung out, like, well, yeah, we didn't hang with each other all the time, but we hung out a couple times with him. Yeah, and he used to irritate the hell. Like, yeah. I just wanted to. <laughs> well, so, it's kind of like when, like, you know, drunk people, right? Like when you get drunk with somebody, everything seems fine. But once you once you're the sober one, you see these people all drunk. Well, we're both sober, right? Oh, wow. you know. Well, we okay. Can... Remember this person because we'll we'll circle back to him. Oh boy! But I want to continue on a little more with <clears throat> Kevin's story till we get back there. No, okay. you end up in rehab, and um, you get clean, right? I mean, you get clean and all this. Yeah. So you uh, you you go back to working and all this, right? How how how? Well, well, I want to say I was. Maybe six months over, then mm-hmm. my pending investigations come up. Mm-hmm. Did you get locked up? No. Oh. So then I applied for drug court. Okay. Right? So by the time I get into drug court, I'm about a year sober already. Okay. So I went through two, two basically two rehabs, right? Mm-hmm. The first time. Right. Yeah. And graduate drug court. And then while in drug court, they make you get a job. So then I'm working. Okay. You know, and by that time... You know, now life's getting good, right? Right. So you're living back with your parents. You guys are in Kalama Valley? Yep. The house that I, when I met you, that yep. that same house. Yeah. So you're doing, you're doing good, doing okay. Um, <clears throat> how, what, what kind of jobs you had in this meantime? Parking lot attendant, detailer. You worked at a uh, Honda. Honda was it? Yes. Fluger. Well, um, I was a parking lot attendant first, then I went detailing, then I went Honda. Okay. Oh, I don't even know where I ended up after that. I think Honda. So <clears throat> I think I met you after Honda because I, well, maybe you one. were at Honda. Yeah. When I met you, you had the, the, the gunmetal colored Honda Civic. Where were you working? Well, I wasn't at Honda already. Where were you then? Not sure. I don't even remember, to be honest. Wow. When did you guys meet? Okay, so that's where I'm getting at. So <clears throat> when I met him when um, I was I was still riding motorcycle. This is when I had the first bike. And, um, yeah, you had the R6. His ex was dated. I don't know if they had legit dated or they just hung out. Like I, I don't know. Anyway, she, she was hanging out with my uncle Aaron, right? Mm. Or whatever it may be. Whatever the case there, but... Um, he started dating her, I guess. And when I got the bike, I, I, I'm not hundred percent sure if this is what it was, but it was like, oh, you, I think he had told me, Aaron had told me, oh, you should go uh, hit up, hit up. I shouldn't drop names. Hit her up. Um, yes, and go ride, whatever. And like she hangs out with one, one little club, or whatever. So, you, oh, okay. So, um, when I'll with this motorcycle club and he was there he was um he had a he had the honda civic like we said but he wasn't riding it so he would kind of tag along with us and be like the car tag along you know like right. carry on cooler water whatever it may be just hang out yeah and then shortly after he got his own bike and all that but i think in the meantime somewhere in 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 between you didn't have a job or something so i had said oh i think my job looking for help and i think that was 
after I left the tour company. I don't even remember the tour company. Shiro, so you must have been yeah, doing this. I was working with. Um, when you got the, the when you got the the CBR, what what were you doing at this time? No, I met. I had the Kawasaki. Oh, you had the two fifty, the little two fifty no, at first. The your first bike, six, the ninety. It was like a ninety six. Was the old one, the square headlight, and Chad fixed it for me. Oh yeah, but okay, where were you working then? I th <clears throat> can't remember i want to say i was the tour company probably yeah okay so anyway let's fast forward a little bit um he ended up needing one job or wanted to jump job or whatever so yeah. i was working at royal hawaiian heritage jewelry yeah and we needed people i guess it what it was and i had told them I was like hey my friend looking to work yeah so they hired him he started working with us yeah yeah and then that's when we got close we got a lot more close then. Um, we was already like we was hanging out together because we was riding motorcycles together. And then, um, <laughs> so funny because she had a bike and she brought him out on the bike a couple of times. Like he was sitting on the back of the bike being packed. Actually, it wasn't even her bike. No, it was his. It was. Well, he crashed. She crashed his bike or whatever, whatever story it was. Right. So Aaron and her had bikes they rolled together she yeah she wrecked his bike so she had to give him her bike oh but then she had somebody else's borrowed somebody else's bike where she brought you out on because she never got her own bike again right yeah but i don't know sorry i don't know whose bike i can't remember i can't remember but we was with this club anyway so um yeah it was funny she brought him out a couple he's on the back of the bike and we're all just cracking up right because yeah. she's taller than him too and he's right, just like right. sitting on the back of the bike and you know us short guys just <laughs> being short kings back there <laughs> what <laughs> now nah, but anyway uh so we're working at royal hawaiian heritage jewelry uh you eventually got the the honda the honda bike but yeah we started hanging out way more at this time we like i said was already hanging with the club but then we started Boy, hanging at that every time, weekend type deal that time was good fun because from hawaii kai pick him up all the way back to hawaii kai, mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah well all the way back i'll drop him off and then go home yeah you so for the to drive far don't you for, yeah don't for the mind. crowd i mean no like honestly like he don't mind like the whole he don't mind. yeah he doesn't because like when he was born you guys went to Nanakuli. Oh, yeah. Okay, we'll <laughs> save that for my episode, okay? We'll save that for my episode. That was... But anyway, so for the <laughs> That's crowd... That's a good one. Yeah, that is a very good one. That's so. a good story. For the crowd, uh, <clears throat> Kev Kevin's sober all, all this time, and uh, I'm a drinker. I like to drink. We, I just have fun. And at, at this time, I would drink and, and get drunk, because now I drink. I don't like to get drunk, but Kevin would live lived about... I don't know, 45 minutes an hour away. Yeah. And I only had a motorcycle at this time. I think you had your truck or whatever. You had the, the Nissan hard body. Oh, I remember you and grew up. We would all hang out. So I'd be like, oh, I kind of come out on the bike and drink. So Kevin would drive all the way, pick me up. We'd go out and drink. I would get all hammered and throw up all over his truck. <laughs> and he would bring me home. He would bring me home at like 2, 3, wait, 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 3 wait, 4 in the morning. Your truck? Right, that truck. That truck was just a full up. It was a beater. beater. <laughs> like, and he was like, I pull over, go. pull over. I gotta throw up. I'm like, bro, just hang just your head go. out the window. <laughs> oh, everything flying. Splattered all over oh, the side of the truck. All so, over the side. And this is we living. We we were living in YPO Gentry, so I saw a townhouse apartment, right? Town, right, up, right. I was like, just wait here. I'll 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 go get some water inside and rinse it off. He's like, just leave it. <laughs> I'm going to go home and shoot him off with the hose. Who cares? This is like 3, 4 in the morning. Yeah. Yeah, so it was already late. Because oh a lot of times, God. during those times, I wouldn't get home until the sun was coming up. Well, there was a couple of times we'd hang out with the Palolo boys and, oh, boy. You hang with these guys, you staying out all night. Because they know they go home. The kind, uh, we drinking, we run out of beer and wait till the store oh, opens okay. up at 6 a.m. Oh buy my more gosh. beer. I don't think I've ever buy more beer. ever did that. You know that one time we hung out over there at Robert's Hoy bus yard? <laughs> yeah. Do you know what's crazy? That one time when uh Pat was with us, Patricia, remember? Yeah. She was like, I don't want to go home yet. 
<laughs> and she was my ride. She's like, she's all oh, right. I think she, she, maybe she took me home, but I think you picked me up, whatever. But she's like, I don't want to go home. I was like, whatever. Yeah. She's like, if I'm going to head your way to take you home, I'll let go to North Shore and see the waves. I'm like, what? <laughs> Dude, we fucking went to North Shore. Me and Pat. I'm fucking like drunk slash tired as fuck, ready to go to sleep. She's like, no, we're going to, we're going to the beach and watch the waves. I'm like, Fucking whatever. Oh my god. We get to the beach and I'm sitting there like <laughs> the fucking waves look awesome. Can we go now? Bruh, she's all like, it's so nice. I'm like, fucking white people. Oh, is she hot? Nah. <laughs> no. No. I'm sorry. I'm not past just white slash Japanese, so it's fine because yeah. I just tease her as she white, but she's so Japanese at the same time. She's doing good, you know. Bro. Yeah, she Fire. moved. She moved out to the mainland. Um, long time ago, she had kids. She got married and all that. Well, I haven't heard, bro, since back then. From rural Hawaii, yes. Yeah, Other then. than you, I haven't heard from anybody. But, well, you know the story of why. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, you know what? You want to know what's crazy? My auntie is the manager there. Huh? So my uncle. Oh yeah. My uncle remarried just recently. Well, first he started dating, right? Yeah. It's, 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 and they're all like, oh, yeah, so what is she? Oh, she work at Royal Hawaiian Heritage Jewelry. <laughs> and my mom was like, you you know that he, me, right? You know, because I used to work at Roy. So they were trying to put two and two together. Like my uncle was all like, what? My nephew used to. At the factory? Yeah. yeah. She worked Bishop, Bishop Street. Oh. So they're all like, you know who is such and such? I'm like, nah, she wasn't there when I was there then. Cause I remember putting that factory together. Remember, bro? Right. We that, came. We came from cool. freaking Kalakaua. Yeah. And then we even we we even, me you and Sammy went out to a Kailua store yeah. to build that out. I remember. The showcases. Yeah. Yeah. So anyway, so uh, <clears throat> they uh, they put it together. I was like, oh yeah. So I finally meet her, and I was like, yeah. I, used to, I worked there for like five, six years, whatever. She's like, oh, for real. I was like, yeah. I was like, well, I probably left there in like two thousand six. She's like, oh, yeah, no, I started a little after that. I think like oh. 2008, nine ish. I remember the parking. I hated the parking. Over there. Yeah, we used to park by Ala Park. park. And walk all the way. Walk all the way. Back. You know, it was kind of fun, like walking through there because all the characters in Chinatown, <laughs> you know? <laughs> and one time I, w I was walking and um, I don't know why it sucked that day because never have you or whatever. Because we always do walk together at me, you, and uh, Colin. Yeah. Colin and uh, Conan. I don't think Conan was parking. I don't. I'm not sure. I don't think Conan was working with us yet. It was only Colin first. Oh, remember? Yeah, because they both ended up there. But I think it was only um, Conan first. Co Colin. 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 But one day I was walking, and you gotta go from Aala Park all the way through Chinatown to Bishop, right? Right. And then I'm walking like you know, I just mind my own business. I get my head, my earphones in, and just listen to music, whatever. And then one of the the late the junky lady whatever that you normally see she starts working walking towards me i'm like oh fuck here we go she wouldn't ask me for a dollar or something right bro do you some loose change i'm like fuck so she's like standing in front of me i'm like damn it i'm trying to learn i'm like oh she's like and i'm like what you, you like going on a date <laughs> wow <laughs> oh Brother, you like breed. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty much what she was asking, right? And I'm like, what? You like going on a date. She pretty much was prostituting herself to me, right? She's trying to get yeah. me to fucking. I was like, wow. <laughs> of all the things I seen in her down there, that that I didn't expect that one. <laughs> Man. There was Shishi lady, remember her? She could clear out the whole oh, block. Yeah. Bruh. Oh, like the, you oh, could she like, brave then. No, you could smell her. Yeah. She just pissed her pants and everything, and it was so built up stink. Mm -hmm. It's you would smell her from oh man, like from here all the way in front of the shop, the street. Yeah, like stink, dude. Like you, oh, you could smell from far away. Like, I gotta walk past her. Yeah, you would just start running just to get past her. That one was yeah. she was bad. She would clear out the bus stops. And Bad. people would be waiting for the bus stops, and you'd see her pull up, and they were like, oh, scatter like cockroaches when the light come on. Mm -hmm. 
And then when the bus come, you see them like run through the bus. Yeah. Yeah, it was bad. She was oh, bad. She didn't ask you out. Not that one. <laughs> Fuck she she girl. I would I would pay her for a fucking go take a bath. <laughs> like, oh, I'll give you five dollars to go take a shower. <laughs> but um yeah, no, that was one of the crazy things. But yeah, so um <clears throat> that Royal Hall and Heritage Jewelry. Man, that one that one kind of went south for you. That one went yeah. south for you. But well, then I mean, eh, we'll not talk about that one. I think that one might be one. The one for just us in the <laughs> off the mic type deal story. But um, so Roy Hawaiian Heritage Jewelry, after that, after that, you went, um, where did you go? You went. Boy Stationery, yeah. Was it there? think so maybe i think there was because there was a moment where me and you kind of wasn't hanging around too much we both got rid of our bikes and you i think you had your first kid i had xavier so we kind of was like a mm, little bit no before before i had before i had my first kid i think i no no but i'm just saying at this yeah. time i think when you left royal hawaiian was like yeah we kind of lost I, touch yeah because i i think we I think by this time we both never have our bikes. bikes yeah. Yeah, yeah. And yeah. Then maybe we hung out a few times. So I think you had the R6, and then I think at this time I never, ha I never have my bike. I never have a bike. Yeah. I borrowed Kavika's bike the one time. Yeah. And then I think I borrowed Chen's bike one time. Oh, yeah. What happened to that guy? He back in Taiwan. He won't come back going. When I last seen him, because I ended up with his bike, right? Yeah, because the two um, years power radio. Yeah, but this is like 10 years ago. Yeah. So they're mandatory in Taiwan. Kind of, I think China is the same way. Maybe? Oh, anyway, Taiwan, it's mandatory. You either, uh, you do military time. Mm -hmm. When you, after you turn 18, you turn 18, you got to do mil military time. Down, Something like that. And if... The only way you can put it off is like you go to school, like you go in college. So he put it off as long as he could. Yeah, he went to school for five years here at um, HPU, I believe it was HPU. Yeah, uh, five years worth twenty thousand dollars per year. The dad paid it all up. Yeah, but yeah, the dad was well off. The, the 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 dad is like uh, big up in uh, Johnson and Johnson products. Um, yeah, so the dad was pretty well, but he he had to go back. Yeah, Chen was actually a really good guy. Really good guy, super cool. And I, I man, I hope I he's he logs onto Facebook every now and then. For real? Yeah, but well, not much. I haven't. Yeah. You yeah. know what's crazy is I I never even got to pay that guy for that jigsaw, you know. For real? Because he's like just make payments with me, and he gave me his bank account information. I think it was, or he was supposed to give me his bank account information so I could deposit money into it. But it was a weird situation that he's like, I cannot access that money or something from Taiwan. Or it was like oh. weird. And then I just, we ended up losing touch because just yeah, whatever it was. I mean, life. It, yeah. Yeah, life yeah. So I still hope. I was like, oh, I hope that guy comes back or something one day. I can pay him back for yeah. that bike. Or even just hang out. I mean, I, I'm, it's still on, on my mind. Like, I, you know, I know what I owe a guy for yeah. a bike. I'm not that kind of guy. It's like, oh yeah, just give me a bike and just never compare them. <laughs> like, just just never happened the way we planned it. Yeah, and then just not being, you know, being in different countries across the world. Yeah, it's hard to keep in touch. But <clears throat> yeah, it was sad because he even had to leave his girlfriend. He had a girlfriend that was oh, living with did. him and everything. Yeah. Down here, Morgan. Yeah, Morgan. He, uh, he was in Macaulay. Yeah. Oh, the apartment over there. Yeah. <laughs> I believe she get she got to keep the apartment though, cause it was only him, yeah. But yeah. I believe they managed to get her name on. Oh, good, good. So that she didn't lose the place, cause she was dorming or something at first when they first started dating, and then um, uh, you know, yeah, he, he they, oh I gotta leave, so kind of sad, cause they had to break up. Well, not break up, but manage on long distance relationship. That's a rough one. Yeah. So back to you, um. <clears throat> Anyways, yeah, so I ended up having my first kid. Mm -hmm. mm. And then I ended up working at Kaiser. Okay, okay, I remember Kaiser. He's working at the hospital, yeah. 
that time, it wasn't, you know, so I, it was, it was, it was good while I was working there until it wasn't. It, it had nothing to do with the job. Mm. Okay, but. Outside of the job, at home, I should say, it wasn't. It wasn't good. Yeah. Right. This was uh, relationship problems. Yeah. Yeah. So, working there, I ended up uh, relapsing. Right. And this is where <clears throat> um, I think I, I kind of was all like, fucking guy. Everybody was like. And I was like. Fuck him already. Because I mean, I was nine years sober and yeah. I relapsed. And I was always that guy. I was like, bro, I'm proud of you. You know, stay sober. I think everybody was. And I, I knew your story. And I was like, bro, keep going. When I heard that you and I don't even know how I heard. But I know you did. Yeah. And I was like, fuck this guy. <laughs> yeah. I think everybody was. Yeah. I'm sure everybody was like, I, I want to kick so, his fucking ass if I see him. Well, it's, it's, the only it's person that wasn't, Jen. Yeah. She. That's what we mean about Jen, bro. She's such a great person no matter what, even after all so those what, years. What exactly actually made you relapse, though? <clears throat> was it just because stress of life or was it because. Home life, et cetera, et cetera. We, uh, I guess we can break down all that because then we going into stuff we probably shouldn't say on this. Right. But um, Excellent. basically, you can, you can kind of understand stress. Yeah, home life at driving me up the wall. I bet. Okay, well, I mean, we'll take that explanation. <laughs> right. So he kind of got driven to the point where, it was like, oh, you treat me like that? Well, fuck, I don't, I don't do him then. After a while, it's just like, fuck it, I don't give a shit. Let's do this. You know. So you relapse. Yeah. Um, but. When I relapsed, I was still working, right? Right. And I was making actually. You was at Kaiser, yeah, still. I, uh, yeah, but right. I was making decent money. Yeah. So when I relapsed, it's not like I relapsed as a broke. Right. right. You know what I mean? You're like, doing good. You're yeah. doing good. So when you relapse and you got some money, it, you can crackhead with money. That's true. You go you go down the deep end pretty quick, right? Right. But that only lasted. Six months. That relapse. That relapse. But but that you in relapse again. After that, no, no. Oh yeah, okay. So you did that relapse. You got clean again, and I. I haven't talked. I didn't talk to you for years. I, mean, I don't know. Nah, was it? Maybe a year after. After I got sober again. Maybe about a year. That's then, what I mean. Then we didn't link back up. Yeah. Because you called me randomly. Yeah. I was like, hey, what you, what you been up to? It was was funny. You still had the same phone number for some reason. Why well, I couldn't change it. Yeah, because no, that's what I mean. we're getting a divorce, right? So you called me and I seen your name pop up on my phone. I was like, what the fuck? Yeah. I think that's when you did uh, tattooed my leg. No, 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 no. The what tribal. The f- oh, the maybe that. The tribal. This is when I was. Um, you was at. I was with. I was at Extreme Inc. I was yeah. I had the the S ten. Yeah. yeah. You because you called me one night that I was hanging out with the truck club. Yeah. Was at the park. Yeah. Yeah. And you came through. Yeah. You was driving the the BMW. Your, your grandpa's BMW, I think. My mom's one. Well, your mom's on this, yeah, right? Yeah, because at that time, I think my mom gave me that car because I needed a car. Right. Because I couldn't go. Yeah, it was that time because I couldn't go back home. They wasn't going to allow me to live back home by then. So where were you? Oh, where were you staying? Oh, you was in Kailua at that yeah. the halfway house. Yeah, the clean and sober house, right? Yeah. And then after that, I ended up. Like you are. Yeah, 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 yeah. And then White Papu. And then Tom. Oh, wow. Hmm. Yeah, that's funny. I now I recall, yeah, because you you came you came up we this is when me and 
uh, strictly ass boys used to hang out Central Park Waipio. Yes. And you came out there hang out for a little bit. I was like, man, what if it was all talking stories, just trying to catch up? Because, yeah, we didn't see each other in quite a bit. Yeah, but because I was out here, I figured, oh, I'll call you up. So I think maybe we hung out like once or twice. I think I came out <clears throat> maybe more than twice, but I recall one time we went out to Kalani's house. Kalani was tattooing somebody. This is probably when I first got back into tattooing. Because yeah. Kalani was like above my skill level. I was like, oh, that's so bad. I was like, yeah, I was like, yeah. <laughs> I, was, I was fangirling over him, <laughs> you know. <laughs> Not anymore. Yeah, yeah. No, he fangirl over me. <laughs> I'm like, whatever. <laughs> and it's funny because I tried to get Kalani in profession. I was like, bro, you can do it. And he's like, yeah, he never like. He should, though. He's good. He should. He's he, honestly right now, he'd be far behind in skill, but he would learn so fast. He, he could catch up. But yeah, I remember when I moved up here, I ended up calling you because you're the only one I knew that <laughs> from That's here, right. That used to hang out out of here. Other than. Some of I guess I could I could blank out this name, but he started dating. Oh, uh. yeah, and so he she she has a house uh, up here. What it? Yeah. Um, and he was living in the house, and she wasn't. She was like staying yeah. somewhere else or... with with the grandparents, I think, because I think the grandparents had two houses. The she one... was, yeah, he was up here. Yeah, with the. Uh, what was his name? I don't know. Don't mention names. Oh, but uh, I can't so remember anyway. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, so yeah, he was staying in that house like just yeah, okay, whatever. Yeah. And then he told me he's like, "Oh, dating so it's like what dating her?" <laughs> that was weird. I think I remember that part. I don't know. He didn't jump around. No, I don't know how long he was up there. He, nah, I don't know. A few months. I wasn't yeah. there long. What you where you was wrecking at this time though? <clears throat> times. Oh, that's right. Using Kahala Times with uh Kalani. Yeah. And then I ended up cooking at um in Fuegos. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. I forgot about that one. You was cooking. I hate cooking. I'll never do it again. Like no no in Fuegos and was losing no 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 no. Bro, back then the food was good though. The food was good. They they still open? Where is this joint? You know what? I I believe it's different owner now because they completely changed. Not even the same name. The same name in Kapolei. Is it in Fago? Is in Kapolei? Yeah, it's in Kapolei. Yeah. Oh. Uh, but it, wait, you was. Oh, where you was living? Where was you living? You was working out there. I was in Waipahu at the time. Oh, okay, okay, okay. With someone else. <laughs> but so I don't know if uh, Val can get touchy about this kind of talks or no. I don't she, know. She no kill. Yeah, I mean. Eh, it's all in the she, past. Eh, yeah, she knows. Like It's not like it's some secret, right? She know about. And she knows she stuck with me already. Ah! <laughs> you stuck with her or she stuck with you? <laughs> I Both. Think, I think she stuck with me. Ah! <laughs> <Like>. <laughs> The value messed up, pal. No, 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 just kidding. I tell you, I think at one point my mom told her no backs. Yeah. <laughs> I can totally hear your mom saying it too. That's good though, man. So, <clears throat> um, yeah, I don't know. All this what? time went by. I, how did, how did we end up? You, oh, you started working at the vape shop. This is how we kind of yes. got close again. Because you were still working in Kalihi. I was working in Kalihi, yeah. and you was, your vape shop was in Kalihi, right? Over there, about a Where jack in the box working. and all that. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, so for the crowd, um, <clears throat> I was tattooing at this shop down where Kevin started working at a vape shop, and I would go hang out with him, and I don't know what it, what it was. Like, I kind of got into the vape thing. Well, you actually, so, you started me. Yeah, that's right. I started getting into you were up here thing. at the time, right? Where? No, I wasn't. Cool. No, no. Oh, when were... I started vaping, I was in. No, I was at Vengeance. Yeah, you was up here using. No, one Vengeance one. started in Kalihi. I was building mods and shit in Kalihi. Yeah, but I didn't. I didn't hit you up until you were out of here. No, right, right, right. Until they moved out here. But that's how you got into vaping. Yeah, 
because I got into the vaping. I was I was still living in Kaluhi. But see, it was so bad because I was watching you vape. And, and the like, clouds brought back memories. Yeah, and so I was like, oh. I was looking, I was like, bro, let me try this. That's why I didn't call you up. <laughs> yeah, because you was a cigarette smoker, hardcore forever. But yeah, so you got into the vaping. He got into the vaping, and um, I, I don't, I don't know what it was. I left. Okay, that was with vengeance. No, I, we was vengeance up here in Wahiawa. Yeah, right. Then I went back to Kali. Yeah, to work at a Lee shop. You were always opposite. Yeah, I was living either or. And working either. But you always had the hard drive. Them. Yeah. Because <laughs> for years I was working Extreme Inc. <clears throat> in Kalihi, but living Wahiwa. Yeah, and then you start working Wahiwa, but you're living in Kalihi. Yeah. Well, it was like at one point <clears throat> I was living and working in Kalihi, then vengeance and moved to Wahiwa. So I was going backwards again. <laughs> then I went backwards again because. I left Vengeance. And you. Then I went to Matai. Yeah. I went to Ali shop. And I think this is in the time where you were still working at vape shops. Yeah. Because I don't know if you were still at the same one over there in Kalihi. I was. With the then, Alvin guys. Right. Then I, I left there. I opened this spot. Uh, and then that's, and that's when I hit you up. I was like, bro, that's well, what they open a vape shop. Yeah. That was this room. Yeah. This is this was your room. This was this was, this was built Iowa. out specifically for him, right? Because I, I mean, I wanted to build it out, but I was like, ah, eh, over the time. But then when I pitched it to him, <clears throat> I was like, let's let's build out the back of my shop. It's some wasted space, and yeah. he was like, for real? I was like, yeah, let's do this. So he had, he had pitched it to his dad, and the dad was like, yeah, okay, I'll front you the money. I'll buy the materials for you guys to build it out. Yeah, and then remember that the the wrought iron fucking bar yeah. that was up here. Dude, that shit was heavy. Yeah, but then was uh, Val's dad would let us borrow that crazy tool. Remember, it was like was on grinder, but oh. the freaking thing was I was like, I'm scared to use this thing. <laughs> no, the thing was, bro, the thing is scary. It's like on fucking chainsaw wheel. Yeah, I was like, bro, this if this fucking grinder kicks and hits me, I'm dead. Yeah. Like this thing would cut me open, so I'm up there like on a ladder, like like cutting through wrought iron, like one inch wrought iron bars, trying to, and the thing was like welded in, like it was built into place, like that on bottom plate, top plate, and welded all the bars in, so it wasn't like you could unbolt it and just and pull it out. It out. Yeah, this, you wasn't gonna do that. I mean, and to. even then, the thing was so freaking heavy because it's big bar, like heavy, right? Right, right. So I still had to cut it in pieces to safely carry it down yeah That's i caught him up carried it down kalani dim came up with his truck and then dumped all that for us yeah your dad brought all the wood we can build up all these walls and all that so yeah so that's what we was getting now we're getting to that right because remember the whole oh the thing the wall leak or what because when we first built it out it was good never have no leaks yeah but we couldn't figure out exactly where it was leaking from either from that corner that's where it was flooding from? Okay, so check this. When I, I told these guys, like, okay, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to build out the back. I'm going to clear it out because the back, back, back here, plenty of shit. And it was leaking so bad. But it, like, it was musty back here. Oh, was it worse? Like, than... you didn't even, like, walk through here. It was like, fuck, go to the bathroom, come back out. Was it worse than when? Oh, yeah. Oh. It was worse. Cause, like, before, you could put down one towel or two. Yeah. You couldn't do that anymore. Oh. It was bad. So I go, I know for one, that wall had to get rebuilt because the water rot was happening, right? <clears throat> so we tore that wall out. And I go, okay, I got to move the AC. So we moved the AC and all this. And it was good. I was like, okay, I think good. Then some rain went happened and some water came in. I was like, fuck, what is it? Like, oh. I, we didn't fix the wall. Like, And then luckily one day I came in and I was working on it. And it started raining, so like, okay, good. I like see where the water coming from, and right there in that corner, that you know that that square pipe, that rectangle gutter pipe comes yeah. down, it would leak all behind it, and then oh. I don't know how I see that because upstairs, 
I had caulked all that up, sealed it up. I was like, why is it still coming through? Well, me and Cole went up there to look what was happening. And that's the old gutter system. There's a newer one. I mean, it's not new, but they replaced it. Right? Yeah. Replacement. Well, whoever put them in would mess them up. So the water wasn't even, the rain wasn't going down the gutter. It was all shooting out, dumping into the old one. Oh, my God. And that old one doesn't work properly. I guess it's just it worn out, whatever. It's coming in here. It was coming in through that and then leaking out of it and coming all into here. Oh. So I fixed the replacement gutter system, did it correctly, sealed it all up, and then capped off that one. It's been dry ever since. Oh, shit. Dry, like nothing comes in. Oh, good. It's been good. Nice. Yeah, so finally it was like, wow, we got the freaking leak problem figured out. <laughs> yeah. So from then, I just moved forward. I kept, all right, I'm going to start building it out. I was coming in like <clears throat> after work or on Saturdays and just painting a little bit and then um, the lights and shit like that, moved the AC. I, I, we, I started off with the bathroom. I don't know if you realize the bathroom is a little different. Oh, I didn't even go. The bath. Oh, the bathroom sink and all that is all new. Oh, it's not the because remember how the utility sink before? Yeah, yeah, the big. No, thing. now there's like an actual vanity. sink with a vanity oh, and, a, wow. and a yeah, yeah and a sink, um, and paint repaint the like was the walls black in there before? No, no, no. I, I paint the walls black. Oh wow! And then the the floor's still the same, but upgrade. Paint, yeah, so I you know kind of just renovate, upgrade them, no. put one new above the toilet shelf like that, and just clean it all up, make it nice. Mm. So I started with that. Then started working this way, and then you tell the floor and everything in here. Yeah, I saw that. I yeah. like I like that you kept it black though. Yeah, yeah. So because it was like plenty of moisture was back here, had like mildew and shit all over the walls. Oh shit! So to clean all that off, started repainting it all up there. Remember, it was still the the grate that fucking yeah window. So, so I board them up instead. Uh, moved the AC over there. You did a lot of stuff work. like that. The floor was the bitch because I grind on whole layer off the floor. Oh, yeah. So I, that is for put that paint down. I couldn't just put the paint down because it wouldn't stick. Like right now we'd be rolling on it with these chairs and the paint would come off. Oh, so I came in here with the grinder and the fucking floor grinding attachment with the vacuum hook to it and grind the whole floor down. Oh. And then paint them. And then they was out of one freaking bathroom for like two days. <laughs> I told them, you guys kind of go back there. You got to let the paint dry before you walk on top. Yeah. So did that. That's right. Get, get the kind. <laughs> I just told them, just make sure your clients use bathroom before they come or just go down to Wendy's and just yeah. Yeah. borrow the bathroom or whatever. But yeah, so all that. But that was the thing. You know, I kept saying like, oh, I'm renovating and I have other plans. Yeah. It, it it turned out nice. But this was the other plans. I was yeah. also building it for a podcast studio. Oh. Nobody knew that yeah. except us. I had no idea. <laughs> nobody had an idea. I never tell nobody, not even my family. For real? Nobody knows. Only you guys has been on the show. Oh. Shit. Only you guys has been re like doing an episode. And then people come in here and then they're all like, What's going on back there? But I was like, I keep blocking with the screen and all that. But, you know, people see I like, they see me walking in with all this freaking equipment and shit. Yeah. Yeah. So everybody asking, though. I think people catching on. Yeah. But I never go public with, with this yet. I never uh, upload nothing yet. So, <clears throat> yeah. yeah. I mean, well, now when people people see it, it's going to, yeah, they already didn't upload, but. Yeah. Yeah, that it was a thing that was in the back of my head for I don't, like I was telling you earlier, like people that follow me on YouTube already know, like, oh, this guy he bought a game mode. <laughs> guy can talk. I know every talk, time. Talk, talk. Yeah. I know if I could talk by myself to myself to on camera. Right. Every time you put this one gonna be short and it never yeah, short. It, it never, never short. It, it never is. <laughs> yeah. Never short. I hope you keep this one fast. And then I, <laughs> you know, you know, you like know it's crazy. You know what? Being behind the scenes on that, like you know, you know how much he time talk? he redoes the video. Nah. He says shit. Yeah. Somebody made a a, a noise in the background. He's like, okay, I gotta restart it. 
Ooh. and redoes it. Or he says something wrong. He's, he's like, yeah, he says something wrong. He's oh, like, I gotta start this whole thing over again. Yep. <laughs> but you, you guys know how I am. Like, it, it shit's gotta be right. The perfection. Right. So go. those the three minute, five minute videos you see probably took him like an hour. Yeah. yeah. No joke. Yeah. <laughs> no joke. If you see this one, hey guys, it's Kaleo, like, you know, letting you know I get appointments available. But it takes me like 12 times to make that video. Oh my Cause God. Because every time I record them, I, I mess up. The crazy thing, though, if he's drunk, um, he'll still go back and look at the video before he posts it and be like, oh, I messed up. Yeah. Like, what? I ain't all about it. But it's just a thing. It's just a thing of, um, I mean, I know I, I'm not perfect even with this because this is a learning process. Like, yeah. This is new to me. It'll be trial and error. Oh, yeah. I got to, I got to, you know, what is a damn saying? Whatever the saying is, you got to just go, you know, like you got to do them to yeah. get better. You got to, you got to go to be great. Can I be great? And then go or whatever that say, maybe, I don't know. I can't remember, but you know, I think I already have a good foot in the door. Just, um, understanding stuff like audio coming from music background, like playing music, being on a microphone and then, um, uh, with video parts, doing all my thrown at videos all this time knowing how to edit, not, I mean, I'm not one professional at editing, but I know the basics can get me far enough. And then with this is like real basic. Still, I mean, it is basic editing, but it also kind of, because now you're taking three cameras and then doing all these different angles where when I throw a net, it's just like one camera. Yeah. And then just editing my own little transitions and shit like that. But you still have your drums? Yeah, no, that's one thing I kept. You still play? No. Where am I going to play it? Here. Yeah. <laughs> just come in here <laughs> just fucking drive the neighbors nuts huh? I mean I put some soundproofing up but it's still not enough there's people would be, I can hear the guy drumming downstairs um yeah when I got rid of all my instruments that was the one thing I was like I'm not getting rid of that I'm like keeping that one because if all instruments that ever I can play and, and you're that, self taught too right oh yeah 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 majority of the things that he gets into is self taught self taught yeah, yeah. Yeah, maybe except the jewelry. Jewelry was the only thing I had to learn from other people. Oh. <laughs> you know? You still go back? Nah, I never. I ain't never been there forever. You know, I don't know how to put it. The reason why I left there. Ooh. was wrong it was wrong on your part you mean the whole situation was fucked up i think so <clears throat> i um i think it could have been resolved a little um with less uh animosity i think it could have all been you know it see it's hard because I know, I know you're coming from because you was defending your your wife at that time. I mean, I kind of had to. No, no, duh. You know, I was. Of course, everybody, was, anybody expect you to. I was basically stuck in a position that I didn't like. Yeah. You know. But. That one, I feel, yeah, it could have been. It could have gone a different way. I think so too. Um. And I never really seen them as bad people. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. They was always good to me. I thought they was, you know, good people and Yeah. I I don't know. I had a great time at Royal Hall and Heritage. Yeah. You know, I'm, but I'm not saying I didn't have fun there. Yeah. Not just the fun, but even just like with you two. career wise. Not, I mean, I know I didn't make a career out of it, but just yeah, being young and learning what I did learn there and just like being put in the positions that I, I, I didn't like. You got to think I went in there <clears throat> 19 years old, I think. And I didn't know shit about jewelry. Right. And I went just work my way up and I, bro, I went from being the new guy to being probably one of the. Yeah. I mean, not probably I, I was one of the best in that factory yeah. I think the only other person that would have been up there with me was Francis what, about, uh, what was his name he was in the window 
punch. Yeah. Yeah, but punch was just an engraver. What I'm what I'm saying is who who everything. knew everything in the factory? It was you. Me and Francis, pretty much. Yeah. What did that happen to it? Um, I don't know. Like I, I he's on social media. I'd see his posts every now and then. See, that's one thing good about you. You kept in touch with everybody. You don't really keep in touch, but well, they're still there. I, you can yeah. kind of get Stop your updates. Uh, yeah. You get your updates. See, I I got rid of all of mine. But not it. They treated me good, brother. Yeah. And I I worked my ass off for it, and they, they um, no, I, mean, they I paid me for You know what I mean? Like, yeah. bro, I was I was getting raises, like, every two, three months in the beginning, like, Bro, not yeah. the kind of like, oh, you get 10 cents. They was giving me dollar, two dollars. Like, yeah. I went from minimum wage, which was, I don't, well, maybe it wasn't minimum, but I, I think I started off at like seven bucks or some shit. Sure. Bro, in, in like, probably in a year, I was already at like $12. Shit. So I didn't jump up quick, but I was busting my ass. I was learning everything. Yeah. I wanted to learn everything. I was like, yeah, well, yeah, I'll take it on. You could make a whole piece by yourself. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Fuck yeah. You know, give me that fucking piece of metal. I'll turn that. You want a bracelet? You want a ring? I yeah. do the whole process. Yeah, I could do the whole process because I could put it on the letter cutter, cut it, sand it, weld it. Well, what do we call it? Solder it. Solder it. Solder it. First polish it, engrave it. Final, po- you know, yeah. put on the next polish and do the inside engraving. Whatever you have to, I could do it all. Yeah, I could do all of it, all the steps. And it was crazy because when. I was there. I was the the on the letter cutter, and then they put a new you know, system in, right? The new um, program for the computer. Well, after you got off the letter cutter, I ended up on the letter cutter. But see, I had to teach you that. Yeah. So when I got in, it was an old system, and then they oh. put in a new system. I had to learn them. Nobody knew how to operate it but me. Shit. But here's the crazy part: that thing, that system was advanced. It was more advanced than what I think the machine could actually do. Oh. <clears throat> but I could figure stuff out and I figure out how to put people's actual handwriting on the engraver. Oh, shit. So like if you had a bracelet, let's say like if I bought an bracelet or whatever, and I wanted to put my actual handwriting on the inside engraving, like, oh, I love you. Yeah. Dash Kaleo. I could do that. Oh, they didn't know how. Oh, shit. And I never teach them how either. <laughs> How come you know more your Wonder Woman bracelets? <laughs> she no more. You know, you know what? everybody used to ask me that, you know, like, oh, he works at a jewelry store. Like, where's all your bracelets? You, you know, know it's fucking jewelry? crazy. I wish I did like, buy jewelry back then. Yeah, because you know how much that- Bro, yeah. it's it's like man. triple, quadruple the prices now oh, yeah. from back then. It's crazy. I, I bought her on Run Ring back then. Yeah. Like white lost. gold too. I did it in white gold. I was like, "Fuck all this bullshit." I'm not going. I was like, "I bought it on white gold." She's like, "What is the silver?" I was like, "Bitch, bullshit is white gold." <laughs> and she lost that shit at the beach. I did. Oh. I did. But you know what's crazy? For that ring, I probably, probably paid like, I don't know, fucking hundred bucks maybe. Nowadays, that ring would probably cost about eight hundred dollars. Oh yeah. Yeah, yeah, we all should. Or more. Buy. But I regret not buying more jewelry back then. Yeah. And I know, like, jewelry is not the best way to invest into m- metals. Like, you know, if you're going to invest yeah. in gold and silver or not, you buy gold it, bullion. You know what? It's, it's bullion. Is that the wrong word? Bullion. Isn't that chicken bullion? Like, you put that in your soup. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what the term is. Okay. Google, Google this shit right now. Is it bullion? It's not bullion. I gold bar. What is gold bars? Bars? <laughs> yeah. No, but I'm saying it because even then we probably, we had the connection to be like, I like buy some gold bars. Right. right. Can you imagine now that we would fucking be able to flip that and get on down payment on a fucking house oh, or some shit? Right. I tell you. And we looking too right now. That shit ain't cheap. Bro. Can't want, bro. It's expensive. Yeah. Metals are expensive. Like no one crazy one crazy thing. Um, remember that fucking silver chain I always rocked? Yeah. And then I made that pendant, right? I make that pendant myself. Yeah. Gave it to him. Oh, for real? Yeah, he has I it. Have it. Are you wearing it? No, no, no. Oh. But I have it. So I got that chain when I was like twelve. <clears throat> one of my mom's friends, uh high school friends, she had gifted it to me. And bro, I was rocking this thing in middle school, high school, like, bro, back in the fucking 
early mid nineties. Bro. I was the fucking like whole oh, bottle. You get that thing? Yeah, I was, I was like the man at someone. I was like fucking stupid kid with a fucking fat silver chain. But anyway, so I was like, oh, when he turned that kind of age, I'll gift it to him. I'll pass it down to him. And that that pendant, I made it for him, right? That was on X. Yeah. yeah. I did it like graffiti style X, yeah. and then I put his uh, birth date, name, birth date, and weight. Wait, yeah. All that shit on the back. I never forget when you were born. <laughs> <laughs> never. I, uh, we'll sure keep, but we'll, sa- we'll, sa- we'll save that one for my episode. Yeah, yeah we'll save the details from my episode. Yeah. You want to come for that episode, dude? <laughs> yeah, you guys. I think you guys. You guys all gonna have to be here for <laughs> the episode when I get interviewed. Yeah. But this is the thing is I'm trying to work them up to learn how to like, you know, host and be like, you gonna interview me then? I promise. That, that, I'll never forget that. So, like, sorry, I never. I don't think anybody will. I don't think anybody. I've heard the story multiple. Like, Bro, multiple. but here's here's so much time. Well, see, I don't give away too much because then from his point of view, though. you had to be there. I don't give away too much because well, it's, it's gonna make for a, a good episode. Yeah, I was there. Mm-mm. You wasn't with me and him. Oh. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> you you was with with Auntie. <laughs> listen to grandpa okay <laughs> no no <laughs> trust me no, yeah him, don't call him uncle kevin anymore call him grandpa kevin <laughs> <No>. <laughs> he's the reason why i oh, got shit. all boys uh, stacy texting me <laughs> he, he, no you, you would curse me no. all the time it's gonna be a boy it, it's gonna be a boy <laughs> i think it was juju yeah yeah and Man. cody what no it wasn't it was cody too oh what <laughs> i go I, I, how's my nephew <laughs> oh yeah. yeah so your mom your mom really did go hard with you though. your mom wanted a girl so bad right every time she was pregnant kevin would be like how's my nephew <laughs> rubbing her stomach no, and she'd be like but he was right every time man. <laughs> he was right every time no but to be yeah. honest like i was okay with having all boys um juju is gonna be our last our last hope for a girl that probably was the most upsetting news I I heard. I was like, oh, God. You can try again. No, no, we're good. I'm good. I am good. I have a girl dog. No, 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 no. That ain't happening, my man. <laughs> we done having kids. Yeah. Watch. Do you see that? Watch. One, one more can happen. No. Don't, don't, don't start with your... No. I think it's a possibility. <laughs> see? Let's see? not start with you. See? No more manifesting. Hey. So. Too late. Too late. <laughs> Not having no more kids. <laughs> Too late, Auntie. No. <laughs> Shut up. You for real will be grandpa. <laughs> yeah, I'm okay with that. Oh my gosh. I'm okay with that. Cause by the time my son graduates, I probably gonna be close to sixty. How's your Fuck, you look that? sixty already. Not sixty already. Whoa, whoa. Just kidding. Whoa. How's your other son, by the way? Good. How often you talk to him? Rarely. That sucks. I he never come back down since the last time. Only summertime. Mm. But even then, what? He stayed without a grandparents too. Yeah. I tired fighting already. Yeah. I hear you. How old is he now? Fourteen. Oh what? Wow. He's same age as Caden. Yeah, because remember? They're they're about this yeah. What year he is? What? What? Nine. Oh, nine. Oh, yeah. Caden's Kaden. born oh, nine. Yeah. Nine, yeah. yeah, same age. Caden is uh, July, July oh, nine. <laughs> July? You're looking at me questioning. Oh, he, he October. So just right but after. He'll be 15 this year. Yeah. Yeah, Caden, too. He's going to be 15. Yeah. yeah. Damn, bro. Mine on 30. You know, it's funny. Um, Last week's, he was filming with uh, Stacy and. I was cracking. We was cracking up because I mentioned we was talking about like Stacy being single. And he was like, "Oh, just not looking anymore." And it was like, "Oh, that's okay." My mom was like, "Dad, she's like not married until." And I was trying to figure. I was like, "Oh, I don't know how old she was." Like, "Oh, maybe like mid late forties." And then Yuli's all like, "Ha ha!" Like, like Yuli's laugh, right? Yeah, bro. Oh, his laugh is so funny. So I was like, "Shit!" Yuli goes. Oh, you realize you almost there too, yeah? 
<laughs> and then she gets all offended, like, you're not even mid 40s. Yeah, like, you're not. But I was trying to make, like, dude, time go by so fast. It does. Yeah. Next thing you know, you, we're going to be mid 40s anyway. Oh, yeah. Our late 40s. Yeah. yeah. And you think uh, Stacy's already 44. Yeah. No. Right? He's going to be 40. Yeah. Early he's said he's going to be 44 this year or yeah. 45 yeah. this year. Yeah, because he's a year older than me. Okay, so yeah, so it's so actually his grandpa. Okay, <laughs> uh, you know what? But you this, look, this you look like you all that white, white hair in your beard. <laughs> his grandpa, but I'm the midget. <laughs> <laughs> That's so fucking stupid because we all like Wait, we all like same height. Are you really shorter than he is? By an inch. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> and then he's older than me. I think Stacy's shorter shorter than me by like an inch. Oh my god! So we have like an inch on each other, but what we what we say about the inch? I know it's, it's like this, but feels like this. <laughs> Don't worry, you gonna see it on the episode. Oh gosh, Stacy confirmed that. <laughs> you know what's crazy is we've been doing this for four hours. What? What? So. Oh shit! Not to cut, not to cut the episode, but um. We'll we can continue rapping if you guys want, but we'll cut this episode right now. So, um, just want to give big thanks, to Kevin. Uh, Kevin's been again. I want to just say Kevin's been been one of my one of my greatest friends for a long time now. Twenty years. Um, he's always been there for me through the thick, through the thin, and uh, you know, you guys heard the story from Kevin being from this to that, back to this, back to that. And we've always, we've always uh, somehow come back together and and uh, touch bases and stuck together and through all the through all the shit, uh, Kevin's always supported me and I've always supported Kevin. Yep. You know, even given to the point of like this very room we're recording in right now, I had gave this area for Kevin to to go and operate his own business. And, uh, you know, even if it wasn't that successful, he st- was a still learning opportunity to uh, become something, you know, regardless of if, if it was in the same industry or not. But just to stick with each other, being brothers and uh, just, you know, having each other's back. We tried it. If it didn't work, it didn't work. But we still move forward and do the best that we can. The vape shop, it was called Empire Vape, right? Empire Vapes. So, you know, we've been through it all, and uh, we're still going through it all. And I think we're going to always go through it all together. Oh, yeah. But yeah. um, thanks again to everybody. If you tuned in, if you listened to the whole episode or watched watched and listened to the whole episode, thank you. Thanks to my wife and my son for joining in on this. And uh, to everybody, and thank you for joining in and just witnessing uh, Kevin's story because Kevin has a great story and so much more he could say, but we got to be careful. He's trying to get canceled. (laughs) Oh, yeah. Thank you. Shoot. Okay, we can talk shit now.